Hi guys, welcome back to The Makeup Hunter. I'm Laura. In today's video, I'm going to be switching up my Shop My Stash products for the month of July. I have decided to do things a little bit differently for maybe the next couple of months, maybe longer. I have taken inspiration from a couple of YouTubers on here on the beauty space and I, I think I want to try doing something a little bit different. So what I'm going to be doing today is creating a capsule makeup collection. So if that sounds like something that you may be interested in seeing then please do keep watching. If you haven't already please subscribe to my channel, I really do appreciate it and let's get picking some makeup. Okay so the time has come to change my shop and my stash products. Um, I've had a Shop My Stash bag for the month of June which I was keeping in my big makeup case. This is the case that I use to put my Shop My Stash products in and it's also the case that I use if I'm going to be going on holiday. I have been feeling like this bag is just too big for a month's worth of products and it gives me too much wiggle room to to basically put too many products in for the month because there's so much room in it. Um, I've really enjoyed the format of the Shop My Stash that I've been doing so I've been selecting several different makeup products, putting them in a bag only using those makeup products for the month unless it's a new product and what I was doing was keeping all my new makeup in a bag together and then once I'd used a product either put it away into my collection or put it in the shop my stash bag and whilst I've enjoyed doing it that way I do feel that it's been a little bit all over the place so I've had so many products I've, I've chosen so many products that I've not got round to using most of them there's been months where I've used more new products than I've used than that's in my stash and it's just keeping that big makeup case handy takes up a lot of space in my bedroom which is already not very big and it gets in the way and it's just it's just I'm not totally happy with how I've been doing things so I watched a video recently from the Anna Edit and she had watched a video by Harry Makes It Up who is a makeup artist, a working makeup artist, and has a, a like a minimalist sort of lifestyle. And she created a capsule makeup bag, as she would a capsule wardrobe. That Anna Edit, Anna from the Anna Edit, is um, very much a purveyor of um, videos on. Um, capsule wardrobes, how to create a capsule wardrobe. Um, she ha I know she has quite a minimal makeup collection herself and is very much a quality over quantity type of person. And whilst I'm never going to have a minimal makeup collection, I do quite like the idea of having a capsule makeup collection like a capsule wardrobe which I would keep separate from my collection so I've always like with my shop my stash the convenience of having the makeup there ready to use whenever I need it if I've got a day where I need to be out the house quite quickly or I'm just having an off day where I don't feel like being very creative I've got the products there in front of me ready and I don't have to think about it. That has been 
a real like convenience and the capsule makeup bag is is sort of you know pulling the best bits from the shop my stash format so it's been broken down into three sections so what I've done is I've already put away all of my June shop my stash items just to save time and I also really spent a while thinking about the items that I wanted to select for my capsule makeup collection so rather than take you to my collection and pick them out together like I would in a shop my stash I've actually spent some time thinking about these products and I've also used them more like I've used them to create this face of makeup which will be the next video that you'll see because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing anything and there wasn't anything that I needed extra so I wanted to save time so I've got all the products laid out in front of me I'm going to talk about the whole idea of the capsule um, makeup bag how Harry and Anna put it because they can put it so much better than me and we'll go through the products that I've picked now I know I have taken a bit of a break from YouTube I've been off here for about three weeks and in the video that you're going to see next from me I talk a bit more about why this video I just purely wanted to focus on the capsule makeup collection so I've taken some notes so I've got my phone here because I'm going to incorporate some of my project pan items into this capsule makeup collection there's going to be a little bit of a bonus project pan update here so one of the things that Harry from Harry Makes It Up said was like her tag for, for this like capsule collection was fewer products, endless possibilities. And I really like that, especially in a, a go bag, like a grab and go bag. You want a few items that you can get a lot of uses out of. So multi-use products, um, products that can be from day to night that sort of thing for the beginning section it is split up into a as if it was a capsule wardrobe like clothing pieces so the first section is your makeup underwear so your undergarments your absolute basics so these are the products that you use every time you do your makeup no matter what else is going on your face you will always use those products and this is where harry talks a lot about multi-use products in the makeup underwear as you would with underwear you can wear a, an underwear slip as a slip dress out you know on an evening out bralettes as tops that sort of thing so the first product that I have put in here is my Heliocare Gel Colour Cream in Light. This is my tinted SPF 50 and recently I have been wearing this on its own in place of foundation. I went away recently, again I talk more about that in my next video. Um, I went to Wales for a few days and stayed in a caravan and this is pretty much all I wore as my base product. It has a uh, light coverage but it's enough for me and also I've got the added bonus of it being a great SPF. It also sits really nice under foundation if I want to go for more coverage I can put my foundation on top of this which is what I often do so this is a brilliant one and this is a great multi-use product. Next up I have primer. Um, I have a couple of options obviously I'm trying to keep the products down to you know a minimum but what I've got here is 
my MAC strobe cream which is in my project pan. This again is another multi-use product. I can mix it into foundation, I wear it as a primer, I can tap it on top of foundation as um, a highlighter. I'm wearing it today as my primer. This is in my project pan as I say and it's one that I haven't used much of since I put it in my project pan so this will encourage me to use it a lot more. So that's my primer and then I've also put these two minis in because they don't take up much space at all, they're sample, you know, deluxe sample sizes and if I put them in my main collection I won't use them. So I've only got a little bit of the Milani Prime Perfection and this is great if I do go away um, to just throw in throw in a small makeup bag and then I've got this deluxe sample of Charlotte Tilbury's magic cream again this is a multi-use product because it's a moisturizer it's got SPF in it it's quite a rich moisturizer so I can use it at night if I'm going away somewhere I can use this as a night cream um, it's a great primer and it's like I say it's got that little bit of SPF in it as well so both of these don't have a lot left in the pots so they don't take up much space so those are both going in and then lip balm is another essential and i've put in my fairly new to me laneige um glowy lip balm in the flavor peach i absolutely love this lip balm it's quite glossy so you can wear it as I often do as the only lip product I don't often put anything else on top of it I just wear this on its own it's super hydrating and again it's a lip balm so I can wear it at night before bed and it's just an excellent all-rounder then I have foundation so this is another project pan item this is my mac studio fix fluid it's the foundation that i have on today mixed in with another one um this is one of my favorite foundations probably one of my top three um it was in my top three favorite foundations video i love this because it can do so much for me so i can wear it super full coverage it's very long wearing it used to be my going out foundation so my clubbing foundation it'd hold up all night long um i'd get hot you know drinking laughing it it never budged it was a, a really good long wearing foundation but it also mixes into other products beautifully i will often mix my strobe cream mix the two together for a lighter more glowy coverage base and i also what i've done today is mixed it with this sample i've got of the dior forever skin glow this was just a little sample that i found when i was packing for my trip it was with some perfume samples and it's actually so beautiful i kind of want to buy the full size once i've used some of the other many foundations within my collection um i also am putting in this this is my last sample of the it cosmetics cc cream i had two i've already used up one and this is my last one and i can mix these i can um wear just a small amount of this dotted on the areas i need it it's just a really good all round uh, it's like a proper workhorse foundation so i'm putting that one in and my two little samples as I say, this is in my project pan, but I really don't know how much is left in here. I don't know how much use I've got out of left in this. So that's why it's a good idea to have those samples in as well, just in case I am away and I run out. Then I've got my correctors. So I've got my Becca under eye brightener. This is as the name suggests an under eye brightener and i will often wear my tinted spf 
a little bit of this under my eyes a bit cream bronzer something through my brows and my lip balm and and that's what i what i wear for the day so i absolutely can't have a capsule makeup collection without this in it i also have been struggling quite a lot lately with allergies um and i'm getting um hives and rashes on my face as well as the rest of my whole body um so this becca pistachio color corrector has come in quite handy it's exactly the same formula as the under eye brightener it's a very emollient formula but it's great just to take some of that redness down and when we're talking about makeup underwear these are the sort of products that completely sum up that for me your correctors your foundation your base whatever you're going to build on top of then i have concealer so i've chosen two concealers i've put in my project pan concealer which is revolution conceal and define in shade c9 this is a great concealer for um concealing blemishes because it's close to the, the like my skin tone shade and then I've got C1 to brighten this up for underneath my eyes often I will just wear C9 under my eyes but if I want more of a glam going out brighter look then I've got the C1 to mix in with it and then the last few products in my base routine are powders. Again, I've had to put two powders in because my I was working on two powders for my project pan. So I had the Inglot HD Brightening Powder. I have had to throw that one away. I think it had expired. Either that or my skin is just not liking it anymore it was um bunching up in areas it was darkening the foundation and concealer under my eyes it just looked terrible i tried using it in so many ways because i wanted to finish it like i say it was in my project pan but i just realized i was hate panning it because it was just making my my face look horrible so i did use quite a big chunk out of it i have got um a photograph on my Instagram highlights of what it looked like when I threw it away then I also had in my project pan MAC mineralize skin finish in light plus and as you can see from the original I just had a tiny bit of pan when I originally started using this in April so I have made quite a lot of progress on this and I like using this all over my face I can't use it under my eyes um, it's a little bit too dark for under my eyes it's sort of sorry I don't know what's going on with this focus there we go it sort of makes my under eye area look a little bit orange so i use this exclusively for setting my face and that's why i've put two in i've had to put one in for under eyes so this is the mac prep and prime this is just a white powder and it's what i love to set used to set under my eyes because it doesn't add any color it just sets the concealer and i also use it to blot around the sides of my nose around my mouth and that sort of area so those are now my powder options and i have rolled um this into my project pan so this is going to replace the Inglot HD brightening powder as my project pan powder so I've now got two powders in my project pan and then neither Anna or Harry mentioned a setting spray but I can't do my makeup without using there's a daddy long legs in here and it's driving me insane um I can't do my makeup without using a setting spray I just love to 
after I've done my bronzer, I just like to spritz this all over my face just to meld all, melt all the powders into my skin and just finish everything off. So the one that I'm sort of trying to get some use out of is my favourite one. This is the Cover FX um, Illuminating Setting Spray where my finger is, basically where underneath the Cover FX is where this is up to and this is kind of like my best setting spray because it is very illuminating it's got a shimmer particle running through it um but i've got like three illuminating setting sprays and i really need to be getting through some of them so this one is going in my capsule collection i also know that i can trust this it does help my makeup last it makes all the powders melting together and it also leaves a lovely glow so I really know that I can trust this it also is a double up product because if I spritz it on my shoulders and on my arms it leaves them lovely and shimmery so if I'm going out somewhere or I've got a bit of a tan I just spritz this on like a body glow so that's going in and then finally I have eye primer and brows again i can't do my eyeshadow without an eye primer and i have also rolled this into my project pan this is mac paint pot in the shade laying low i thought this had dried up so i smushed it all up and it's absolutely fine there isn't a huge amount left but it will take me a long time to get through this but that's going in that's the one i use more than any other and i also can wear just that on its own instead of an eyeshadow just to add a little bit of warmth and a bit of definition and then for my brows i've got my glossier boy brow i've also put this in my project pan um this is the boy brow in the shade black it's what I've been using pretty much every day for the last couple of months on my brows. It's the only product I use in my brows. I love it. It's super quick and easy. I don't have to think. I don't have to fill anything in. I just literally run this through my brows. I'm good to go. It's got good hold. Adds a nice tint. A little bit of shape to my brows. It's brilliant. So out of my project pan items i have finished up my vitamin e eye cream my mark hill big blow hair spray um like blow dry spray and i've also finished um I called it finished the hd brightening powder so those three products have gone out and in their place is the MAC Prep and Prime Loose Powder, the MAC Laying Low Paint Pot and the Glossier Boy Brow. So those are my makeup underwear products done. I forgot to mention within the makeup underwear bronzers i thought that was in the next category but it's actually in the first category your makeup underwear so for bronzers i've got two i've got a cream and a powder as i do use the two together or individually so in my project pan is my benefit hula quickie contour this is my favorite one of my favorite cream bronzers that's how much of it i've got left i love this on lighter makeup days i will just wear my tinted spf this and some other bits and that that's all i need i love the way it blends it's super quick and easy but i also can layer it with powder bronzer for more of a glam look and the bronze that I've been loving the most lately and is one of my favourite all time bronzers is the MAC and Sharon Osborne bronzer in the shade Refresh. Now this is a baked bronzer so it has a luminosity through it and it's also the split pan so it's got um, 
I think this is soft and gentle so it's got your bronzer and your highlighter in one so it's a multi-use most of the time I just swirl the two together it's the bronzer that I'm wearing today I don't have the cream on I just have this powder one and I've got it sort of dusted all over my face and then I've got the highlighter just on the high points so I absolutely love this bronzer and it's a great summer bronzer the bag that I, I should have shown you this at the beginning but the bag that I'm going to be putting all these into is one I found when I was going through um, some storage um, is my old go-to travel makeup bag so I've got a set so I've got this one which is just a single bag and then I've got this one which splits into three compartments so it's got this pouch here this pouch here and then the pouch at the bottom and this is perfect for my capsule makeup bag fits everything in it's really compact sits on my dressing table and doesn't take up much space that's where the products will be going and in this one I've just put my essentials so in here is wipes for swatches a little hand mirror my colour switches my powder puffs my damp sponge my hairband the things that I use every time I do my makeup so that and that together sit on my dressing table and are perfectly handy so I'm going to now put in the makeup underwear okay so next up in the capsule makeup collection the next category is your staples so Harry said these are your ride or die comfort zone products so they might be the same texture or color story you feel good in them and they add a little polish to your look so for me my favorite part of my makeup routine and my comfort products is eyeshadow i absolutely love a nude eye a warm toned smoky eye and often i can on an everyday basis just brush one colour all across my lid and call it done or I can take it to the max really blow it out make it really dark and smoky but all using the same sort of colour palette now for my eyeshadows I was going to just choose the one palette but I decided to go for two small palettes as this would be my capsule collection so no matter what occasion this makeup bag would suit my needs so the first palette that I've chosen is Going Coconuts from Colourpop this is a completely neutral palette the tones don't le lean cool or warm they're like right down the middle and I like this for sort of an everyday casual kind of look there's no pressed glitters in it the shimmers are beautiful and I also love to sweep just one of these mattes across my lid and call it done this shade get cracking is a matte with glitter in it and it looks beautiful on its own all across the lid and blended into the crease as a one shadow look so this is the perfect like capsule eyeshadow palette in my opinion then I wanted something that was more glam and for me that is the Colourpop Nude Mood palette so this is unlike the Going Coconuts palette this these shadows lean very warm and when I look at these two palettes I see two completely different looks so this one to me is my everyday casual look this one is my going out glam looks now you may think they're 
the same you don't need both but to me i get two very very different vibes from these palettes and that's why i decided to put both in they're only nine pan palettes they're small they don't take up a lot of space and with these two palettes and a couple of the other items that i've got the looks that i can come up with are endless so fewer products endless possibilities and then other items that are in the same colour family but different textures are cream shadow sticks. So these are still in the same colour family. They're browns. They will go with these shimmers that are in here. I can use these as a smoky liner. I've got on taupe from beauty pie which is a lovely warm caramel brown i have used this all over my eyelid underneath my lash line and then just blended with a soft fluffy brush up over my crease and i've just worn that on its own and it looks beautiful then i've got nude sticks chocolate which is a lovely rich chocolate brown and this i can use to smoke out the lash line i can use it as an eyeliner underneath my eye um, again as a one and done shadow look it's just the possibilities with these are absolutely endless and are really all i need for um and a look so another sort of essential item for me is eyeliner and for a capsule collection I've just chosen a brown eyeliner as that is the 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 look that I go for the most I don't often wear other colors in my waterline I just like to put a brown in my waterline I also like putting it along my lash line and smoking it out so this fits in with my color palette that I've got going on you know my browns my warm tones but I can also go quite smoky then I've got mascaras, I've just got the two that I'm using at the moment and trying to use up. I've got my L'Oreal Telescopic and my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I use the Telescopic on my top lashes and I use the Giga Black on my bottom as it's a tubing mascara and it doesn't smudge or run. Both of these are coming to the end of their life so I'm just going to, when these have used up, I'm just going to roll in another two. Then for my highlighter, I have got the um, strip of Soft and Gentle in the MAC and Sharon Osborne bronzer, but I also had to go for a cream. And this one from Beauty Pie is Day Glow. It's a multi-glow stick in the shade Day Glow. This goes with absolutely any look. It's just a light champagne and the formula is beautiful. I can use it on top of a powder. I can use it on a naked face. It's just a really easy product to use. And again, it's quite small and compact and doesn't take up much space. For blush, I decided to go for a peach as I feel like with the colour family that I've got going on here, a peach would be the safest. So I've gone for Beauty Pie Fresh Faced. Again, it had to be a cream. In the warmer months, I, I just prefer cream products and then as winter comes along that's when I tend to start rolling in more powders. So I just decided to go for one blush and then for lips it has to be a nude lip for an everyday basics can go from super glam to casual everyday it has to be a nude so i've got like anna from the anna edit she chose the same colour but in different textures so I've done the same so 
the it's the lip that I've got on at the moment bar one item so I've got Huda Beauty um, lip contour in Venus which is a nice peachy nude then I've got MAC Hue again a light peachy nude lipstick and this is a cream lipstick it's very balmy and what I've done today is I've put it on and then I've just pressed it in with my finger and then over the top of that I've got my Colourpop Lux Gloss in the shade Slow Motion this is a lovely thick balmy gloss but it's not sticky at all I can wear it on its own or like today layered over the top of other products and then I've got a sheer balmy lipstick these are what i'm going for more than anything at the moment in the summer i don't like too much fuss and also at the moment lip products really aren't doing it for me i think it's because we're all still wearing masks obviously and nobody sees your lips really unless i'm on ca on camera or I mean particularly in the mood to wear a certain lip colour this is the type of thing that I'm going for without any lip liner just this on its own so that's going in and that is all the products for the staples so these are like your jeans and your t-shirt products your your black skinny jeans and your um your white shirt your white collared shirt that's the way i see these products they are can be good they can go from every day to day night or wedding guests this is the makeup that i could wear for any occasion so i'm just putting all those products into the appropriate places okay so on to the final section and we have wild card items so this is your occasion wear the items that elevate your basics and make you feel fabulous so the way I imagine these it's like those black red bottom heels the little black dress the clutch bag the items that you can rely on but just take your look to the next level they're your statement necklace or statement earrings so i know that in harry's video she chose a bold lip colour and she also loves glitter so a pot glitter glitter liner that's her wild card items she also said they can be perhaps um, a, a new colour that you're trying out or a new style that you're trying out that you wouldn't wear every day but it's something you like to dabble in occasionally so what i what i've chose are items that i can still work into every look i do so they'll pair lovely with all the other items that i've got but they're just a bit special they're a little bit spicier um they they vamp things up a little bit so the main thing for me is I love a shimmery lid. I absolutely think that you can turn the most boring nude brown eye into something super special with a bit of glitter on, on your lid. And I don't like glitter glitter. I like, I've got... um one of the hourglass scattered light shadows on my lid today and that's the kind of thing that i like i like just the smattering of glitter very fine light glitter so i've chosen my rowan 75 degree palette and this is a palette of cream shadows that are all are like a glittery 
chunky texture so they're like a foiled texture and I think mixed with the palettes that I've got there this will just elevate those to the next level it's just a bit of glam something a little bit special so that is my choice as one of my wild card items another one similar to that is the YSL full metal liquid shadow I have this on today in my inner corner and on my brow bone and this is just if I'm going out and I don't have time to do a full look I can just literally put this all across my lid blend it with my finger and it looks beautiful it looks really special it looks like I've made a lot of effort when I haven't and I just think these two for me really they are my statement earrings in makeup form then I have a black eyeliner not something I wear often at all but I do feel very sexy and very sassy when I've got black in my waterline as I say not something I wear very often because I find it can be a little bit too harsh for every day I've got it on today um, but for a smoky eye something a bit different I can wear this along my lash line and create a flick with it if I want to um, this is definitely a wild card item for me but one that I can easily fit into a look and then the area that I knew would be where I was you know would struggle to rein it in a little bit is I've chosen a bright lip especially in the summer I love a bright lip I love reds, oranges, bright pinks. Lately, I'm all about the oranges and the corals. So I had to put in three bright lipsticks. So the first one I've got is from YSL. This is the Rouge Percature in the shade 21. And this is a pure orange lip. It's beautiful. It's very opaque one swipe opacity um lasts a decent amount of time on the lip and also the lip liner that i've chosen from huda beauty which is a peachy tone will go with all these like orangey red tones that i've got so i've got that one and then i've also got again from ysl but this is the rouge voluped shine this one is the shade 15 and this one is more of a red orange. So that one is more of a straight up orange. This is an orangey red and it's a much different formula. This one's much more shiny and balmy. Um, but again, very opaque, really lovely and looks great especially in the warmer months with the brown tones that I've got for the eyes and then something a bit more subdued but a bit more upper level than my my everyday nude lip I've got MAC Tropic Tonic this is matte and this is like a peachy orange it's it's more peach than orange but again it's nice and bold nice and summery and it just adds a little bit of extra something to my makeup routine so that is everything i've chosen for my capsule makeup collection so i'm going to put everything in its rightful place and i'll show you what it looks like i've still got room but I don't want to put anything else because I don't want to you know keep feeling overwhelmed I want to show these products some love so that is everything put away and they clips together at the top and that's it that's my capsule makeup collection I 
I'm going away again soon and what I have decided to do is I'm not going to take this whole thing away with me. Um, I've had a couple of new makeup products that I want to get some use out of while I'm away and I also want to try some of my other newer products that I'm going to take away with me. So I'm going to take some items from here, take some from my collection and that's going to be like my holiday makeup. And that's what I'm going to do with this co this this collection and going forward. So there probably won't be a monthly shop my stash for a while, but there will be shop my stashes because I'm going to do them sort of like every now and again. Like I might in a couple of weeks decide that I want to add uh, another small makeup bag alongside this of things that I want to try or maybe I have a time where I'm into pink lips and smoky eyes so I put a little makeup co collection together of those. I'm also going to do shop my stashes for one-off looks so we'll go over to my collection, pick items to like shop my stash of items for a look and then put everything away. You know just switch it up a little bit it may be that i go back to the way i was doing it before but i really did find anna's video which is the one i saw first and then i watched harry's when she tagged it in her video i found it really interesting and i quite like the idea of doing that i don't feel overwhelmed at all by this collection and i also have <laughs> I felt like I couldn't touch my collection when I was doing the, with doing the shop my stash a little bit whereas now I've got a lot more free reign to just use what I want when I want and just sort of like mix in from this bag or if I just can't be bothered I've got a full face here ready to go for any occasion. So. That was a little bit of a different video i hope you enjoyed it please do watch my next video for more of an update on where i've been and what i've been doing and and things like that i just wanted this video to solely be about creating a capsule makeup collection so thank you so much for watching i hope you're all doing well i hope you're all staying safe uh, i hope your families are well Keep loving yourself, keep loving each other, I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.